Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and welcome to part 4 of our platformer series. So, in the previous part, we covered state machines and how to implement them using different things like ladders. So in today's episode, we're going to cover ledge grabbing, which is very similar to our ladder code, and we're also going to cover double jumping. So, as usual, I've set things up. I've got a sprite for our ledges here and it's just a copy of the sprite for the wall and the sand but its color has been shifted to a bluish color I've created an object for the ledge and I've made sure that it's not visible in the room and I've also added this new tile set called BG underscore white brick which is basically just a copy of our previous brick tile but I shifted it to white so if we go into our room, you'll notice that I've already added this little ledge set up here. And if we move these objects, you'll see that they're the white tiles. And the first thing we need to do in order to add ledges to our game is go into the settings and in our room's creation code, we need to add a new state called ledge. So now we have a normal, a ladder, and a ledge state. So we can close our room here and the first thing we're gonna do is go into our script ladder and duplicate it. We're gonna name this new script scr underscore ledge and we're gonna change a couple of these. So our H speed is currently set to zero. What we wanna do is set it to four times left key plus our right key. So we're just doing the opposite of what we did for our vertical speed here. And on this vertical speed, we can actually change it to zero because on these ledges, we don't want to be moving up and down, but rather left and right. So same for this. We need to instead set our Y equal to the instance nearest of obj underscore ledge dot Y. And what that's going to do is it's going to snap our Y to the ledges Y. That way it looks like we're in line with the object. So then here, what we have is a way to get out of the ledge state and back into our normal state. So instead of collision with obj underscore ladder, we want to say obj underscore ledge. And that's all we have to do for the ledge state. So if we close that and we go into our player object, in the step event, we want to add a new case called case states.ledge and it's going to call script underscore ledge and then break. So now we're done with that. Now we need to go into our normal script and add a way to get into our ledge state. So we have this code here for going into our ladder state and we're actually just going to copy that, paste it below and change it to ledge state. So instead of colliding with the ladder object, we want to check for collision with the ledge object. And of course, instead of pressing the up key, we want the left key or the right key. And our state is going to be states.ledge. So there you have it. That's really all you have to do in order to add a new state into your game. In this case, the state is for the ledge. So it made the code very simple as all we had to do was flip the values from our ladders. So if we run the game, and we just make our way up to our ledge, if we press the right key, you'll notice that we're now snapped, and it's created this ledge grabbing effect. Now of course you can spice this up a little bit by adding animations and such, but for the simplicity of this tutorial, we just have this little object moving across the ledge. So if we press space, we jump off the ledge. And also, if we run off the side of the ledge, we go back into our normal state. Alright, so now that we've added a new state to our game, what we're actually going to do is work on double jumping. So the first thing we have to do is go into our player object and add a couple variables to the create event. So the first variable is going to be called double jump, and it's going to be a boolean that's set to false. The second is going to be double jump count, and it's going to equal 2. I will cover a little bit more on these in a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is go into our normal code. 
So under everything else between our collision code and all of the other stuff, we want to add double jumping. So the first thing we're going to do is say if place meeting x y plus one con wall and and our jump key is pressed and and not double jump and I will explain exactly what all of this means in just a minute okay so inside this if statement we're going to set double jump equal to true then we need to add an else if statement that says if place meeting x y plus one con wall and double jump equals true this time we're going to then set double jump equal to false and double jump count equal to two so I know I'm adding a lot of stuff and I haven't really explained it yet I promise I'll get back to it in just a moment but the next thing we're gonna add is if double jump equals true and and double jump count is greater than or equal to one open brackets here then we're gonna say if our jump key is pressed open brackets again then we're gonna set our vertical speed equal to our jump key times negative jump speed exactly how we jumped before and then double jump count is going to minus equal one so this is all the code you need for double jumping if we go through it this first if statement is saying if we come into contact with the wall object below us and we jump and double jump is currently set to false then we're gonna set double jump equal to true what this is gonna allow us to do is basically determine whether or not we can double jump this else statement is going to say else if place meeting with the wall below us and double jump is true then it's going to set double jump equal to false and reset our jump count back to two then down here we're checking to see if double jump is true and our double jump count is greater than or equal to one and we also press the jump key then our vertical speed is going to equal our jump key times negative jump speed just how we jumped before this part right here double jump count minus equal one is very important for this situation so since we set double jump count equal to two when we press the button again it's going to subtract one so then it's going to equal one all right so the first time you press it your player is going to be in collision with the ground below it then when you press jump double jump count is going to equal one because it subtracted that one then if you try to press it again double jump count is going to equal zero but before it equals zero you're gonna go ahead and get that double jump in so that in the most simple form is double jumping if we go ahead and run the game you'll see that if we jump we can now double jump but we only get one so again currently since we're in contact with the ground below us double jump count is set to two the first time we press it it subtracts one and sets itself to one our code then checks to see if double jump count is greater than or equal to one and presses it again so if we press it again we get that double jump but after we press it the second time double jump count is set to zero so if we try to press up again we're not going to get another jump so in this tutorial we covered ledges which required us to add a new state to our game a state called ledge appropriately of course and we also covered double jumping I hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to hit that like button comment what you thought down below don't forget to subscribe for future videos and as always I'll see you guys next time